Hey, what's going on guys? It is Gaming Insiders here, back with another video here on the channel. If you happen to be a fan of Grand Theft Auto 5, you can start by liking this video, that would help me out a lot. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn that bell notifications on too all so you don't miss out on any brand new Grand Theft Auto videos that I bring out here on this very channel. I also have a Discord server. The link for that is down in the description for you guys, both on PlayStation and Xbox, so be sure to join me and go check that out. With that being said, let's jump straight into today's video. Okay guys, so today I have four modded outfits, the ones that you've seen in the thumbnail, showing you exactly how to do this. This is the transfer glitch, and also as we are making the components, I will have a picture on screen to show you what um, outfit we are doing at the time so you can easily follow along with what I am doing here on the game okay so very simply I'm making four modded outfits this is a transfer glitch and you will lose all of your outfits so make sure you're wearing the most important one on your male character like I am right there and once you've wearing the one that you want to keep out of all your outfits you just want to go into uh, swap character, uh, choose character, and if so, your male character must be in slot one, and you must have make a female character in slot two. If you already have one, delete it and make a new one. Okay, so that's what I am doing now deleting it and then making a new one. As you can see, I just chose the new character. It is a male at the moment. I do have to change it to a female, so you guys have to do that too. Don't worry about the name or appearance or anything like that. Make sure you copy over, if you're whatever level, if you're like over 120, you copy all of that over. The alert came up, but I did delete that out. Okay, as you can see, I am now going to start loading up in GTA Online. First thing you do is just make sure you have your map, uh, open your map, sorry, and you go in and to see if you have any of the closed stores. Okay, I do actually have the closed stores at that time, but I did go find your session because I didn't think I did, but I did. <laughs> so I found your session. That's what you do if you do not have the closed stores on your map. Okay, so I've reloaded back into GTA Online after finding a new session. I have the closed stores on the map. It doesn't matter which store you go to because they're all basically the same. You can all get the same items from them. So just make your way over to a clothing store. First thing you want to do is just make your way over to the accessories table. Okay and you just want to take off all the accessories your character may be wearing default okay so as you can see I've got earrings there just get rid of them earrings most of will have earrings okay so just get rid of them and let's get started into our first outfit okay so our first outfit is there on screen as you can see it is a pink sort of galaxy with the pink uh, deadline pants and shoes Okay, so the very first thing you want to do is you want to go into tops and you want to go to leather bomber jackets and pick the gold SN leather closed. Go to pants and you want to pick sports pants, the spotted muscle pants. Go over to the boots in the shoes section and choose worn ox blood slack boots. Okay. So that is basically outfit one, okay? So it just makes it like, for some reason when I was choosing them, wasn't choosing the right ones at first, but I got the right ones. I will have all this stuff in the description as well. 
So once you've made that one, you just want to just go up to the counter here and save your outfit. Okay, save it into slot one. I'm just gonna save it as um, gal pink. Okay. All right, so that is outfit number one. Okay, so there is a second outfit to do with this um, this top. I do save it a second time. I just a little bit, you know, paranoid about that. Okay, so we go into the pants section. Oh, sorry, tops, <laughs> and we are going to work jackets, peach camo closed field. That's the one we are going to be looking for. That is that one and go into tuck t-shirts while we're still in tops and choose the blue digital t-shirt okay like i said all this will be in the description now we just want to go over to the accessories table and go to gloves now we want to choose light woodland tactical okay Sometimes they are different numbers to what I've got written down, so you just have to bear with us. Okay, so you make sure you buy them ones. And now you just want to save this outfit. We are now done with outfit number one. Okay, so we're just saving this into slot number two. We are naming them so they're easier to, you know, easier to find at the end of the glitch. Okay, so let's now work on the blue one, or the purple one, whichever colour you want to sort of want to call it. Okay, so it's the, pretty much the exact same outfit, slightly different. Okay, so we want to start off over at tops and go to leather bomber jackets and pick the multicoloured SN leather closed. Okay, so that's that one. Next, we want to make sure we have the, the sports pants on, the muscle pants. Okay, and then go over to shoes. And we want to go to high heel boots. Then we want to choose deluxe midnight combat. Okay, so just select them. Of course, we have the light woodland tactical gloves still on so we don't need to put them on and we save this outfit save this into slot number four so just leave a space between your outfits to make it a little bit more organized and easier to see so I'm calling this BP Tron 1 a blue purple Tron okay To our next part of this outfit okay so we're going to start at tops and we're going to go to work jackets and we're going to go to peach camo closed field again okay we're going to stay in tops and pick the um, blue digital t-shirt again in tuck t-shirts pretty much the same as what before we have the light woodland tactical gloves still on and we are now saving this outfit so we are pretty much done with this outfit now okay so that's the both the um, galaxy top ones with corresponding Tron coloured pants to go with them so that's pink and purple or blue or whatever you want to call it okay so we are now moving on to the trash man outfit okay so you just want to make your way over to tops and go to denim jackets and go to distressed denim jacket which is this one then go into tuck t-shirts and choose black classic at 
that's that one. Okay, so now we're going to make our way over to the boot section. I do make a mistake here, so I will have the right um, part in the description. So look for the right part in the description for this part when choosing the shoes, because I got the pink Tron shoes in this, which are not the ones I wanted. We wanted the orange ones to go with the outfit. I will have that in the description properly for you guys, so you put the right shoes on. Of course, you're going to want the um, muscle pants on. And you want to have the uh, light woodland tactical gloves. Okay. So that is now all good. Now we save this outfit. So I'm just going to name this Trash. save it a second time just just because I do okay so let's move on to outfit number two for this one we are going to go to party tank tops in the tops and then choose leopard loose tank should be the first one in the party tanks so that's this one now we want to go to tactical jackets in the top section and choose the khaki tactical that's this one okay so now we want the uh, light woodland tactical gloves we are already wearing them so now all that's left to do is save this outfit okay so that is now the trash man one done Okay, so let's now move on to the next outfit we're about to do, which is the last one on that thumbnail that you've seen. And that is the e cola with black joggers. So that's e cola top with black joggers. Okay, so first we're going into pants, and we're putting, um, well, tops, sorry, sorry. And we're going to tank tops, and we're going to go to mocha torn short crop. which is this one we're already wearing the muscle pants so make sure you get the spotted muscle pants on the in sports pants oh no sorry black so utility pants black battle pants black battle pants sorry okay so we got them on and now we are going to go over to the accessories and go to gloves and we are going to look for the white surgical gloves this is going to give us the red racing gloves that's these ones And once we are done that, we can now save our outfit. Okay, so now we're going to move on to outfit number two for this outfit and we are going to start off in the pants and put the sport muscle pants on then move 
over to the tops, go to sports jackets and pick the sea green puffer jacket. That's this one. Now we're going to stay in tops and go to bustiers and go to white lace bustier. That's in here. And we're going to find the white lace. That's that one. Now we are going to move over to the boots, well the shoes section and go into boots and choose the Moss Tech boots. That's these ones. Now we are going to head over to the accessories table and go to gloves and pick the Light Woodland Tactical. Again guys, you can find all of these things down in the description if this that makes it easier for you guys just to read exactly everything there is there so you can buy everything there so don't forget to check that description out for all the outfits so now we are going to save this outfit E cola number two so we are now done with our building our outfits okay so what do we do next what do we do all right once we have finished building all of our outfits all we have to do is just simply take the easy way out okay so just open up your interaction menu and take the easy way out okay what this is going to do it's going to force the game to save okay so we are going to do that now opening up my interaction menu I'm going to kill myself and I'm going to swallow the pill and I'm going to drop like a sack all right so now the hard part is done making the outfits the hard part is done Let's start, let's start doing some easy stuff. Now let's go into pause and go straight to creator. Of course, if you don't have creator, it's because you haven't linked your account with Rockstar Social Club. Okay, so you must link your account with Rockstar Social Club to do this bit. Once in creator, you just want to go down to create a race, a land race. and simply just pause and head over to the airport you could really do this anywhere you want but the airport's just easiest as it has a lot of straights and you don't have to really worry too much about turns and stuff it's a lot quicker okay so you just wanna every bit there that has a red triangle you wanna just make a title make a description just as you can see I'm just making it GG turn take a picture of it okay um, put the amount of people on the two made it make it a point to point race okay so just fill in the details basically uh, let's put a trigger set some um, checkpoints okay your race needs to be at least 0 0.7 miles long okay but I do it for about a little bit longer I like to be sure that I've definitely done it long enough um, I put it on to 0 0.8 miles okay so you can do the same thing just make sure that it is definitely long enough okay so once you've done that done with the checkpoints just go into test you can save this by the way you can if you want you don't have to okay you just want to quickly just test this race and 
And once you get to the end here, it's going to come up with this alert. All you have to do is now just accept this alert. And as soon as you've accepted it, just pause and go straight to online. And now you want to go to choose character. So now we are just going to accept this quit alert going into choose character. From here guys, this is what this is very important, so concentrate. So we're going to go to our female character that we created just before and we are now going to delete her. Okay, so we are going to delete that character. Okay, so once it after you deleted it and it's reloaded, this is very important that you press on the PlayStation, it's the circle button to go back to GTA 5 on the Xbox, it is the B button. Okay, so you do want to return back to story mode and then come back to online. You'll notice that you are your male character again when online. Save the outfit you originally were wearing into slot 20. You'll notice all the outfits are there. So we are saving this first outfit into slot 20 to keep it out of the way of our merging outfits. Oh, forgot something now. <laughs> I'm just going to put on a default outfit just in case. Okay. So I'm going to take these glasses off. I did that just in case the helmet I was wearing maybe can conflict with something and we don't want that to happen. So if you're wearing the outfit, you know, that you think may conflict, just put yourself with a default if you don't need to merge as such make your way to ammunition as well guys and buy some rebreathers buy an earpiece as you will need these okay so if you haven't got these you will need these so go to ammunition and then you can have some all right so now make your way to a clothes store and i am going to simply buy the very first outfit okay which was the pink tron okay so i'm going to go buy the pink tron the deadline okay once i've um, bought this i now can start up the job that we need to start up okay this is where it comes in handy where you really could use a friend use a community anything way possible to get people to join you okay so what you want to do here guys is simply go into your pause go to job play job rockstar created go to verses and you want to make your way down to crooked cop okay since I have my matchmaking unclosed it will always make me host okay so I don't get the host option it just gives me the host and you just want to put your clothing onto player owned this part is very important for this to work okay so now you have to wait for someone to simply join or get one of your friends to simply join okay and then we can get started so as you can see someone has now joined me and now we can actually move on and launch the job okay so down at our outfits go down there and press right d-pad twice as you can see my outfit has merged over now we just ready it up and actually start the mission once it loads all right all right so now we're getting somewhere all right so like i said before with the re buying the rebreather or the earpiece okay since i haven't got anything on my head i can wear the rebreather i can simply just go into interaction menu go to style go to appearance and then choose our uh, gear if i press right d-pad it will give me the rebreather if i press left d-pad it will give me the earpiece 
Okay, so I've got the rebreather on. All I ha all I have to do now is now just go into the phone and quit the job through the phone. Okay, as you can see, I've loaded back into another GTA Online session. I've got rid of the rebreather, and now I'm making my way down to the clothes store. And now we are simply going to save this outfit. Okay, so we're now going to put this onto slot 19. Okay, and now we are going to delete the components. So we're going to delete the very first components that we made. So that's M2, delete them. Now we are going to want to buy the blue or the purple deadline. I made a mistake here. I went outside, realized, wait a minute, I need to go back in to buy that outfit. So I choose the purple one because I think it's a little bit better with the color. Suits are better, I think, that you can choose either blue or purple. Okay, and then just simply go into pause, go to jobs, play jobs, Rockstar Created versus, and go into Crooked Cop again. Again, wait for someone randomly to join or have your friends join you. As you can see, I've now got one of my friends joining me. Uh, no cheats, so shout out to no cheats. Now press right D-pad twice again, of course, and now we, we're ready up. Simply put an earpiece on or a rebreather. Doesn't matter, so go into your accessories in your style, through your interaction menu, and then quit the job. Once you've done that, you just want to make your way to a clothing store or an ammunition to save your outfit. Go to the clothing store, it is better, because we do need some to buy some things as well. Okay, so now we have done that. delete the components now we're on to the very next outfit okay so the first thing we're going to want to buy we are going to want to buy go into utility pants and go to black heist pants this is what's going to give us our black joggers and now next we want to go into buy tops racing jerseys and picked a pumped motocross which is going to give our gloves okay so this is what we're going to get the gloves from and we are now simply going to go into the jobs again so that's jobs play jobs rockstar created versus and then go into crooked cop have our friends join us again and press right d-pad twice and as you can see, we are now have an invisible torso, invisible arms, and we have the racing gloves on with the black joggers. As I said earlier on in the video, I did have the wrong, wrong shoes, but you'll find the right ones in the description. Put an earpiece on or a rebreather and quit the job. Once respawned into a session, make your way to an ammunition. Or a clothing shop. Whichever is closest. And save the outfit. Then delete our components. Now 
Now you want to just go to the clothing store and just simply go to um, you want to buy this e collar you'll find it in arena wars and you'll find it I can't remember exactly what category you'll find it in arena war okay so you just want to buy that top that's all you have to buy for this very last outfit of course go into crooked cop one more time this is the very last outfit so I hope you guys have stuck around and enjoyed this um, four outfits that I've done and there'll be many more of these videos coming in the near future so definitely stick around um, for that so press right d-pad twice once loaded up in the job and you'll see everything we've got the racing gloves and everything like that once loaded into the into the mission we are now going to just go into our style and put our earpiece on or our rebreather and simply quit the job now we just got to make our way back to an ammunition or a clothing store and do this last save for the last time and so there you go guys there's four nice modded outfits that you guys can use today in GTA Online. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you can also share this video with your friends. That would be awesome. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this one. God mode glitches, give cards to friends glitches, and when merge glitches come out, I'll be sure to share them as well. So subscribe for all of those kind of content here on the channel. Until the very next video, here on the channel guys I thank you all very much for tuning in and I hope you can give me a thumbs up that would be awesome drop some comments if you would like me to cover something else in GTA online and I'll definitely look into that until the next one thanks guys laters